Hello everyone, my name is Kundan Singh and I'm going to show the demonstration of our project on voice and video communications on the web. This is the slides uh, on the slideshare.net. Uh, the project website for demonstration is here. Uh, so this is this is the front page of the of video conferencing software and you can see here that uh, there are a couple of other accounts which are online uh, I type in my name create uh, select a particular conference room from this and then can join add the moderator password if I know that and then join that particular conference room when uh, I join for the first time usually it prompts me for the uh, device access on this machine assign the allow the device access I should be able to remember the uh, permissions for subsequent requests once I allow the device access, I'm in this particular room. There are various controls in the bottom of this video. For example, a, uh, audio. Uh, they, if you go to the preferences page, you can see different uh, configuration for audio and video. You can select remember here, for example, so that it remembers your configuration for subsequent times. You can change, if you're a moderator, you can change various configuration, for example, uh, whether this is a persistent conference or not or whether it's a temporary conference uh, for example on the tops there is a um, banner in the header and footer side of this conference page uh, if I save this the header banner will disappear uh, this not only affects my view but also all the other views who are uh, using this particular conference room so uh, let me join this conference from another computer which is just next to this computer and uh, see what happens so I am joining as uh, another user called Kundan Home once I join the a new video appears for this uh, on this conference room automatically and the video of all the participants are adjusted so that um, they fit within the browser window you can resize the browser and they adjust their position as needed uh, another way of inviting someone else to the conference is go to the main page and select the person who uh, you want to invite if he's online then uh, he, he'll get a notification on his computer saying that this person is inviting you for this conference and you can accept it similarly you can log in your own name here so for example I can say something here like uh, and click on login so that other people will see me in the login list so let me invite another user called and work. Once I invite, essentially what happens is uh, the invitation goes to the other user and uh, when he wants he can join the conference um, after accepting the invitation. So that's once the new participant joins the conference room his video also appears. So now there are three people in, the in, the con in this particular conference. This is my view. These are the other two participants which are the computers next to each other. Uh, <coughs> there, like I said earlier, there are various controls around, and uh, there is a text edit box which you can use to type some messages. So, for example, I type a message saying "Hello, how is everyone?" and that appears for all the other window. I can respond to it. yes, anyone good. So, just simple text chat mechanism, and the depending on whether the conference is persistent or not, this text chat also persists. Um, across multiple uh, logins to this particular conference room. One of the interesting feature of this conference software is the preferences again. It shows the network statistics, uh, the bandwidth sent and received to each of the other users. So right now there are three participants, including me, Kundan Home and Kundan Work are the other two participants. And uh, it shows how much bandwidth I'm receiving from this participant and how much bandwidth I'm sending to this participant. Delay quality is just a metric which is used uh, to determine what's the quality of this particular con network uh, connection or this particular network direction uh, and uh, it's between 0 and 1 I use some metrics to calculate this value since everybody is on a local area network usually it's 1 but sometimes it might uh, go a little below 1 depending on uh, whether there is in increasing delay or whether the quality of the video is slightly poor again you can control your device uh, parameters from here for example you can change your camera quality you can change the frames per second dimensions of the video and so on 
and uh, finally if you are moderator of the conference you can change the moderator from there other conference related settings here and a uh, very extensive user manual which describes uh, how to use this uh, software so coming back to the same uh, conference page here again uh, these boxes are all editable in the preferences page you can say with where these uh, participant list or text chat reside on the left or right and then you can double click on a particular uh, video and make it full screen so for example you can click on this particular icon in the bottom right corner of each video and that particular video becomes uh, full screen um, there is a uh, uh, mechanism for sharing slides as well so for example if I am the moderator of the conference I select this particular slide and uh, let me let me select another slide say mm. so this one So I select the URL of the slide, go back to my conference list and uh, essentially what I do is uh, click on that little icon to share the documents, paste the URL of the slides and click on OK. Now all the participants basically see these, uh, these slides here. They can also see the mouse movement uh, that I'm making and uh, since I'm the moderator and I shared the uh, slides, I have the control of uh, when to go to the next page in the slide and so on. Uh, so that's the slide share part of it. This uh, button basically allows you to raise a hand so that moderator can give you control of the system. Your audio and video can get enabled and so on. Essentially by default uh, in this particular conference all the participants have uh, their audio and video enabled. And uh, uh, this this particular button is not really needed but once if you have a moderated conference where you know video of these uh, other participants are not visible then you can raise hands for example if I'm moderator I'm presenting something I can disable the video of everyone except for me and when say from from another participant if I raise the hand here uh, I see the moderator sees the notification that this pers person is wants to ask a question so I can enable that particular participants uh, uh, audio and video and then he can ask the question so that's the moderator functionality in this uh, audio and video conferencing system um, let's go back let's remove this um, uh, and go back to the main page again uh, there again they have different conference uh, settings here you could create you can join an existing conference you could log in and log out like a simple instant messenger kind of uh, system or you could create a new conference as well let me leave this conference and uh, I'll, I'll leave the conference from other participants as well and then I'll show you how to create a new conference so for example here I enter my name say Kundan and uh, another conference name say intensity conference and put some password create a new conference by default when a new conference is created that uh, basically is in temporary state unless you make uh, the conference persistent it will not persist beyond one logout so if you log out and log in the conference will basically disappear so if you leave this conference uh, it, it will not be in the list there okay. um, so that's basically the IIT web conference software uh, voice and video conferencing the source code of the software is uh, open and available on Google project uh, this is the URL for the project it describes how to get started setting up the system source code is available issues you could put and so on so that's all from me thank you